Now we're going to move on to applying transitions and effects. If we want to add a transition between our two clips, we'd go here to our effects tab in the bottom left hand corner and we drop down video transitions. We're going to go into dissolve and select cross dissolve. If you know what transition you want to use, you can also search for it here by simply typing in the name of the transition. Now with any effect, we simply drag it from the effects window on the left and drop it between our two clips or at the start or end of a clip, wherever we want our transition. A transition will only go at the beginning or end of a clip or over the end of one clip and beginning of another, transitioning the two together. We'll zoom right in and we can see we've got the cross dissolve there. If we watch it through, you can delete it if we aren't happy with how the effect looks when we play it out. To do so, simply click on the effect on the timeline and press delete on your keyboard. We can also extend or shorten the transition by hovering over the end of the transition and dragging to the left or right. You can see now the transition is longer. So let's take a look at how the dissolve looks once it's applied. Another useful transition is the dip to black. So we could put them on the start and end of the video as well if we wanted. So that's how we apply transitions. Now we're going to look at some video effects. Our effects can be found in the video effects folder in the same tab as video transitions. There are heaps of them to play with, but today we're going to go into the color correction folder and drop this fast color corrector effect onto clip one. With the clip selected on the timeline, we can now go up to our effect controls tab, which is located in the same panel as my source monitor, and then we can alter the settings of that effect. So you can see by default, all clips have motion, opacity, and time remapping in the effect controls tab. They're always there, but here's the fast color corrector, and that's the effect we've just applied to this clip. So if we drop that down, we can see all of the settings we can play around with for that particular effect. Every effect has different settings, so your best bet is to play around and fiddle with the settings for each effect to see what they can do. If you don't like the effect it has on your vision, you can simply delete it by clicking on its name and hitting delete on the keyboard. Or you can step back a move by hitting Control Z on your keyboard. So by clicking and dragging this point within the color wheel, you can see we're now changing the hue of colors in our clip. It's important to remember that to see these effects changing in our clip, we must have our clip selected on the timeline with the CTI over that clip so we can see it in our program monitor. If you have made changes to a clip using an effect that you wish to apply to other clips as well, you can do so by simply clicking on the effect within the effect controls tab, pressing control C on, on your keyboard or to copy the attributes, then select the clip you wish to apply this effect to and press control V on your keyboard to paste the attributes. If we click on this clip and go up to the Effect Controls tab, you will see we now have Fast Color Corrector on this clip as well. This is handy if, say for instance, all your interview clips needed to be warmed up a little, so you can apply the same effect variation onto all the interview grabs so they all look the same. We'll also briefly look at Motion, which allows us to change our clip's position, scale and rotation. Motion is useful if we want to scale in or out on a clip, and we can do this by clicking on the, this number here next to Scale. It should be currently 100 at full size, 100%, but if we click on the number and drag to the right, you will see the image scale in, becoming bigger. If you click and drag to the left, the image will scale out, becoming smaller. The rotate function is useful when you have filmed something and you get back and the vision's not actually straight. You can rotate until the horizontal and vertical lines are straight and scale in slightly to remove any black around the vision that can now be seen after rotating the clip. Another useful effect is the levels effect. Now using this effect, we can play around with the different colors and make our video look richer in color. So we'll click this effect and drag it onto our clip, go up to our effect controls tab, and we're gonna click on this small icon here to open out this histogram image. Now by dragging in these goal posts, the levels effect is allowing us to make the darker pixels darker and the lighter pixels lighter. And you can see the effect this is having on your clip to the right. Just click OK when you're happy with that. And if you'd like to apply them to your other clips as well, your other interview clips, 
do as you did with the fast color corrector. Simply click on levels in your effect controls tab, control C on the keyboard, and then we're going to paste that on our other clips. Mm -hmm.